Welcome to this video tutorial in which you will learn about truncation. I'll explain what truncation is and you will learn how and when to use it. So truncation allows the computer to sort of fill in the blank for you on the root of a word that may have uh, many men endings. So let's think about sunshine, for example. Um, so you may want the word sun, S-U-N. Uh, you may want sunlight, sunshine, sunscreen, sunglasses, any related word, right? So you could do that by using the Boolean OR uh, and including all the words that you can think of that begin with your letters. Uh, or you can save some time and capture some words that you haven't thought of by using truncation. So on the library website, we're starting at library.western.edu, uh, we're going to use our article search uh, and put in something like uh, childhood education outdoors. So in this search, uh, you may expect that uh, the database will know to search for related words like child, children, um, childish even, but this is only going to capture results that include the words childhood education specifically, right? Um, our academic databases aren't as flexible when it comes to synonyms. So if you were to look for child instead of the 135 results, you might get 681. That's a pretty big difference, isn't it? So uh, when you're doing this kind of research, if you want to kind of capture more, if you were to do child asterisk education outdoors, you're going to get a total of 775. And that may not feel like a big difference, but when it comes to uh, finding more and more specific research for your higher research needs, uh, you may find that you're only getting 17 or 30 results um, from using your keywords, right? So to expand that kind of search, uh, we want to use these little helper tools uh, in order to capture different words that we haven't thought of, perhaps, right? But keep in mind, of course, that it all is as good as your keywords uh, are. So um, your results may get you Julia Child, if it weren't as specific as outdoor education. Uh, it might get you something like childless or child-free, child-bearing, child-raising, um, that may or may not be relevant to your results, right? So think carefully about uh, the kinds of words that you're choosing to look for. Uh, finally, you can get more helpful tips about the different databases, often by going to their advanced search and uh, looking for either a help button or tips and tricks of searching button. On EBSCOhost, it's going to be this little mysterious question mark symbol here. If you click on that, you're going to get a pop-up of uh, different tips they have for using their database better, right? So in this case, uh, we're looking for wildcards and truncation symbols. So what kinds of symbols will they accept? And what do they mean to that database, right? So uh, you can use these tools and more to uh, improve your search results, right? If you have questions about that, head back to the library homepage, and you can either book a librarian or get some on-demand chat help um, until 9 p.m. most nights uh, during the school year. So I hope to hear from you soon, and uh, goodbye.